Hey guys, Bing here, and today uh, we'll have a play with a field pattern. So here I have this material in on this wall. So you can say that's uh, some pattern I created. And uh, we're going to um, create this pattern today. Okay, so um, here, so this is the tool I created. So um, it's a free, you don't even need to sign up but to use this, but if you sign up, you will be able to do it using directly uh, draw the pattern but uh, I'm just going to show you how to only use these to create this pattern okay so first um, let's click on new blank, blank uh, pattern okay so here here are all the, um, the numbers you need to type in and uh, here so you will see the preview so this pattern what I want is um, so actually I'm going to do a, a screenshot so you know what I'm doing so this is a pattern so basically it's this big and it will repeat itself okay so so what the first so I'm just going to draw some line and uh, so so for example, this is one, and this one two, three, four, five, six. Six actually go back to one. Okay, so um, I'm just going to. Oh, oops. So uh, one vertical one. So so this is one, two, three, four, five, and this will be six. And then some some of these lines will do it later. So now let's go back to this. Okay, this two. Or just um, so first here, click here. So um, angle. So horizontal one will be zero. Okay, and uh, x y. So x y is the low. Uh, x and y of this point starting point of here okay so which is zero and zero shift shift is um actually when you repeat this so actually i'm f going to repeat this line so, so this is one and this is another one so shift is the horizontal um so from or actually this point to this point, the horizontal offset of these two. So here it's zero as well. And the offset, okay, offset is from here to here. So which is in this exercise 900. Okay, so go back offset dash dash is from here to here so that um, the length of this line okay so which is uh, oh, so it's 400 so actually you, you already start to see this line here so okay I'll finish it with the space space is um, the when when this line repeat horizontally it, the space between another one so which here is zero so now you can see that uh, uh, we create a long a straight line so oh actually here I see it, it's a uh, telling me it's, so that's because I'm using inch so I'll change that to millimeter so Revit millimeter model yep so yeah in this case because I'm want actual um, dimension of the pattern so it's it should be model type okay so now we have this first one so now what we can do is control C control V and uh, let's go back to this one so this is the 
law number two, the only difference is the y number y of the point, so which is here. So I just need to change this to um, 200. So you can see this one go up 200. And control C, control V again, 400 for the third one, 600 for the, the next one, and 800. So now, uh, what we need to do now is we need another hang on. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. We need uh, hang on, something's not right. Nine hundred offset, which is good. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, I think that's correct. So okay, we now we need draw this line. Okay, so um, I'll just control control V start from this one, and this one change the angle to ninety degree. So see, um, go up, and then X and Y. Y should be zero. Star star. See this line. This is the this. Uh, this this one so start from zero I'll change this to zero and uh, shift is zero that's fine and offset is the length of this line so it should go up to 900, uh, 900 which is oh hell offset is actually from here to here should be 400 sorry and then the dash is from here to here, so 900. Spacing, spacing zero. That's correct. So good. So see, now we have one, two, three, four, five. A little one. Yes. So that's what we want. Um. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I just add a little bit like extra some extra lines to make this looks like a you know like a fill pattern it's not solid but uh, yeah let's do it so just, I'm just going to so it's start from 800 so I'll just copy 800 oops sorry what did I do uh, that's fine I'll change to A20 Yep. Six and the A. So now we have this pattern. Yep. Okay. So once you finish, you can just download this PAT file. So on title three. Okay. Let's go. Uh, in Revit. Let's. Try it, try it. Okay, I'm just going to draw a generic wall and give it a material. Okay, so I'll just create a new material. New material. So go uh, pattern and uh, I'm going to click on model, new, custom, and you just need to browse. So find the one, so three is the one we just create, open, and uh, that's it, okay, oh, oops, we can change it, just change the name, okay, okay, so now we have this um, new pattern we just created, so okay, let's have a look, okay, and okay, and okay, so go, let's go to 3D view, so this is the previous one I did. Yeah, so generic wall. So let's have a look. Good. So yeah. So that's it. It's um, basically just trying to create a line using all this. Um, but yeah, I think if you if you sign up and uh, probably like uh, spend some money, you can just draw it. From here, but uh, if yeah, that's the only difference. 
Um, yeah, if the pattern is very simple, I think it's, you can just do it this way. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope it's yeah, it might be helpful someday. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.